Hey guys, so it's been a while. I haven't talked with you guys on the channel in a minute. I've just been so busy with school and everything, but today we're back at it again with a brand new vlog. Now I am stressed. I have a lot of stuff going on right now, but I really wanted a vlog today just because I'm doing a couple of things and I'm going to the mall. So I figure why not also show you guys what's sitting at the mall. I know those new Air Jordan 4 Motorsports uh, came out on the recent Saturday. I do want those, but I don't want to pay full retail price for them. So we'll see how I get those. I want to get them because I know they'll look really good with the pair of denim I just got. I actually just bought them uh, like a week ago. So you guys always ask me where I get my denim from. Um, Collar Clothing is the brand. It's like my go-to denim brand right now. They refuse to work with me on anything. They don't want to they don't want to holla at your boy. They've done sponsored work with name brand clothing of all people. Not to bash name brand but out of like every fashion and sneaker YouTuber, name brand's like the only one they've worked with and you know, he's not really the style influencer I I think that they want. But anyways, not to bash name brand, I love him bro. But yeah, I got some new denim today. It stacks really, really well. I'll show you guys some of the stack. Look at that, look at the weight. It's just, the stacking is beautiful. We got the zippers on the inside. This is from their latest drop. We got the zipper on this side here too. Just a really high quality pair of denim. They're expensive though. I think Canadian retail is 185 plus tax. And today we're wearing the Converse Luxe Modern. I'm absolutely in love with these sneakers. I did do a full review on these sneakers, so I'll leave it in the description down below if you wanna watch it after. But these are like one of my go-to sneakers this, like right now. Like this is one of my most worn sneakers. I freaking love these things. A lot of you guys have also asking me about the Yeezys in the background. The Zebra 350 V2s. So you know what, let's just talk about them right now because I haven't really done a full pickup video or review or anything related to, related to them for that matter and that's just because I've been so freaking busy and I really wanted to do like a really cool video for the first time when I do show them to you guys but I honestly just don't have the time to do a really cool video for them so I'll show them to you guys right now. These are the long-awaited Zebra 350 V2s I've yet to properly show you guys on the channel. Um, I'm so blessed to be able to have these in my collection. Shout out to the plug for hooking it up with these because these are by far amazing. I think these are gonna be one of the most hypey sneakers of the year in 2017. Are these Yeezys fake? I wanna ask you guys in the comments, are my Yeezys fake? Cause I know they're real, but I know there's a lot of internet experts out there that would love to, you know, say something, say something mean to me, tell me they're fake, all that stuff. So go ahead, I'll give you guys some up close images of the Yeezys. Here's the side view right here. Here is the front view. Let me get the other shoe. Here is the front view of the Yeezys. They're still factory laced and I have yet to wear these outdoors and that's just because I don't want to get robbed. I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I don't want to be riding the bus when I'm wearing these. If I'm wearing these, I'll be in an Uber or in a car or something like that. And when I'm wearing these, I'd best be with the entourage or a crew to back me up as security in case someone tries to mug me. Because these sneakers are worth $2,000. Like, these are worth $2,000. That's insane. Um, and I just, I would never pay resale on these. You guys know I hate paying resale. Here's a look at the back pull tab. Man, these things are magnificent. Oh my gosh. We got the yellowed outsole, midsole here too. I find it really weird that it does have like the yellowing here, but apparently that's one of the telltale ways to know that it's real. Here's a look at the boost. My Yeezy experts, where you at? So yeah guys, in the comments down below, tell me if you think these Yeezys are real or fake and if they're worth $2,000 or if they're worth retail. Here's a look at the insole as well. So you can get a look at that. But I've worn them in-house a couple of times. I've basically worn these as house slippers um, for a few days. The box is in minty, minty, crisp, crisp condition. Let me get that box label for you guys. This is a Canadian release pair. As you guys can tell with the different kind of sizings they have available. Let me know what you think about these GZ350 V2 Zebras in the comments down below. Again, huge shout out to the plug on this one. Really appreciate it, homie. Later this week, there's actually gonna be a like private Adidas event I'll be going to. So you know what? I might wear these for the very first time to that event. Maybe break a couple of necks. You know what? Yeah, I think that might be the very first day I wear my zebra. The smarter I become as an individual, 
the smarter I am about my sneaker thing. Okay, so gotcha. But okay. I don't, I'm not saying that I'm really smart. The Kanye West and Calabasas Adidas Yeezys released today called the Power Phase. And uh, you guys have seen images of these on Instagram like for the last couple of weeks. They have that old school Adidas look. I think they look pretty cool. I think they look pretty cool. And I probably might try copying, but it's not something I'm absolutely crazy about. Uh, so, but yeah, maybe, maybe I get them. Let me know in the comments too. I know I'm asking you guys a lot to comment today, but if you don't want to comment about my Yeezys, comment about these. How do you feel about these Calabasas Adidas Yeezys? I think a lot of people are just going to buy them because they're like, you know, Yeezys. <laughs> uh, if these were just released like as a regular GR, I don't think as many people would want these. Yeah, no love, fall, fall away. Learn the more you grow, the more your heart will break. Damn, why can't I keep it in my pants? Always up first, no, we never wait. And maybe that's the way I am, the way I am. And I can't really help it, my hormones control me down. I need to cool it, but I cannot help it. Seems my dick does the thinking when I'm in the DMs. Used to spit gang way back in middle school. Got the average girls, maybe I was average too. No college, but you think I go to savage you? Cause my camera roll, only filled with baddie zoom. And I don't have time for no love now, no love, no. And I don't have time for no love now. Alright, so we just got to the mall. We're at Fairview Mall right now. I have a haircut in 30 minutes, so I have some time to kill. We're gonna check out Champs, check out H&M, maybe Zoomies. Uh, we might go into Full Locker. We'll see, we'll see. For those of you guys who don't know, Livestock Canada is doing a like raffle for the Jordan 4 Cause and the Air Jordan 1 Royal. So I got my buddy Dennis uh, to actually enter for me under his name as well so I can increase my chances of winning. He just sent me a video of uh, him at Livestock getting the raffle ticket for me. So thank you, Dennis, I appreciate it. First up, Champ Sports. Here's a look at the brand new Force that just dropped. Motorsport Air Jordan 4s. I'm sure they have a lot of sizes in these. But yeah, I think these would look great with these jeans. One of the reasons I want them. The quality is, eh, quality is pretty blech to be honest. Um, that does suck, oh well. They got the sixes on sale right now. The bottoms look really cool. The bottoms are really, really cool on these. They got Jordan sixes, they got some 13s, some eights. I haven't seen these eights yet. These eights are actually really freaking nice. I'm not a big fan of eights, but these and those flights, the flight green ones, those are really, really cool too. Adidas just dropped these ones in the white colorways. I really like the 9317s and the white ones, but I uh, passed on those ones for once. We got some more, and then these just came out as well. They also came out with a camel colorway, but it doesn't look like they have them here. They're putting out a ton of really good Adidas Alpha Bounce colorways, this being one of them, in like a black elephant print kind of colorway. This one's actually straight fire, but they have a green one, a tan one, a blue one. Man, they're uh, they're really pushing the Alpha Bounce hard right now. And honestly, if you guys haven't seen my review yet, definitely check out my review of the Adidas Alpha Bounce and you'll know why people are loving these. Right now, I'm sitting on two pairs of these actually, both the DS in my bedroom. And uh, I feel like I'm gonna sell these and then opt to wear these ones instead. We have the uh, Red October Air Force One mids and it still blows my mind. A lot of people thought I made a Photoshop image of these on Instagram when I posted them. No, they're real. They're real people. Look, I suck at Photoshop. I don't even use Photoshop. I use MS Paint people. MS Paint gang. This is what the real Ray Ray 20 says is the best Ultra Boost ever. A lot of people went hard on him for the clickbait on that one. But you know what? To each their own, to each their own. If he really loves these, I can respect that. I'm not a huge fan of these. I actually don't like these at all. Puma actually just dropped a new like Rihanna pack, I think, where they have bow ties on the laces. It's a really, really different, weird look. The outsole or midsole on this is really cool though. I gotta admit that. They have the uh, camo versions of these ones I was talking about earlier. So, you know, these are basically the Bape Adidas collab, right? May as well just buy these and call myself a hype beast. Kids sizes and women sizes now. They have so much Air Max on sale and like so much Nike is on sale. It's pretty wild. Like, look at this. Damn. So we're all done at Champ Sports. They had a really good selection of a ton of different brands. So shout out to Champs for holding it down. Uh, they also told me they're not going to be getting the Air Jordan 1 Royals, which is too bad because I would love to spend my money at Champ Sports versus Foot Locker. 
Uh, not a not a huge Foot Locker supporter because they don't they don't support me. Fam. They don't support me. But yeah, we're gonna go to Foot Locker right now, and uh, I feel like they're not gonna let me film, especially if the uh, the manager that doesn't like me is there. So we'll go inside, and uh, you'll see if I film or not. All right, so Foot Locker had the triple black Flynet racers, the triple white Flynet racers, and a couple other cool shoes, but not too much compared to the Champs. But what is this? Oh no, the, the Tim Hortons booth but they're like doing a promotion for the credit card. I already have the credit card. So uh, let's head upstairs real quick and check out the EB games. They don't let me film in there, but there's a couple new Overwatch pop figures. And for those of you guys who don't know, I'm a huge Overwatch freak. I love Overwatch. I think my SR is like 3,800. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna see if we can cop some new Overwatch pop figures. They also released some new Gears of War pop figures. And if you're a pop figure collector, let me know in the comments because I have a lot of pops, a lot of pops. I have a lot of pop figures in my room, so might do a collection video on those one day. And yes, EB Games is what we have in Canada. Some people are like, it is still around? Yeah, in the States, you guys have GameStop, but in Canada, they're all EB Games. Time to do what I came here for, get my hair cut. All right, so we just finished my haircut, feeling mighty, mighty fresh. I dig it, I dig it. Now we're gonna head, uh, I guess, back home. Oh no, it's pulling me in. It's pulling me in, guys. It smells too good. Oh no. Okay, fine. Can I have one of these? It's been a while since I've had Cinnabon. Okay, so I'm gonna treat myself tonight uh, because I know I'm gonna have to bust my butt off later when I study for my exam on Thursday. Not looking forward to that exam. Not looking forward to class at eight in the morning tomorrow morning either. It's gonna be a rough week. Maybe when I grow up, I can find a one. I can find a one. Maybe when I grow up, I can find the one, I can find the one Sorry I've been such a douche, ignoring all the girls that sleep with the next afternoon Deep down I'm a gentleman I swear, you just see the version of me that just doesn't care So, how is it? Misty's hanging out, in? yeah, we added a different thing to, to girl, hi Oh, I missed you too. I missed you, you too. Oh, I just, yeah, I got a haircut. Where? Uh, at the Fairview. Oh. oh, I missed you. You got the Fairview after the thing? Yeah. There we go, guys. We had a brand new Cinnabon unboxing video on Sneaker Talk. Ooh. Ooh. Nah, that looks good. So that's gonna wrap up today's vlog, guys. If you enjoyed it, please smash that thumbs up button down below. I'm gonna chow down on this Cinnabon. And uh, there's a quite a few quite a few videos in the works on the channel for later this week. So we have a Nike Sneak Easy event vlog. We have the recent Sneaker Con event vlog. And also the Adidas event vlog that's gonna go up later uh, on the weekend. A lot of stuff is gonna be popping on the channel. So subscribe if you haven't yet. And hit that bell, hit that notification bell down below. Well, other than that, I'll catch you guys on my Instagram or Twitter and maybe my next video. Peace out. Now I don't have time for no love, no, no love, no. And I don't have time for no love, no, no love.